We're following the progress on the rebuilding of I-85. CBS 46 News confirming the state fire marshal has finished its investigation into the fire that brought down that portion of the interstate. New at 6, our traffic solutions reporter Vince Sims has learned details of another part of their investigation that reaches statewide. He joins us now live with those findings, Vince. All right, in my one on one sit down interview with the state fire marshal, he explained that their investigation is complete and it's now in the judicial system. However, he did explain that they are still reviewing policies about GDOT storage policies under overpasses that could affect their 6,700 bridges statewide. The state fire marshal says the initial fire under I-85 was set to a recliner style chair and plastic shopping cart. I don't think anybody intent intended to take down the interstate. But that small fire then spread to spools of plastic conduit material stored under the bridge for years by GDOT. The plastic melted, caught on fire, and grew into the blaze that brought down I-85. Some people questioned why this material was stored under the interstate. It's something they need to look at years ago, putting stuff in the, on their bridge and finding out that shouldn't be there at all. GDOT says storage of the material didn't violate any known policies. However, I did confirm the state fire marshal is now reviewing those policies. We are currently uh, trying to work with DOT uh, in that aspect of understanding what they have, uh, what types of uh, construction they have, things stored near or under. And uh, in that, we're trying to make some recommendations. That review is still underway. A GDOT spokesperson tells me although they asked for the review, they had no other materials like this stored under any other bridges in the state. All right, now GDOT also told me that they um, sent out an alert nationwide letting other states know about what happened here and we do know that Maryland is one of those states that actually removed things from under their overpasses because of what happened here. Now through all the investigations want to remind you that this will be open again before Memorial Day weekend. Reporting live on Vince Sims, CBS 46 News.